Welcome to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Encourage us more, help us to share our video and also subscribe to our channel. If you have not subscribed before, help us to do so. Just press on your subscribe button and share to your friend just to know about this. In this platform, you can learn any mathematics uh, problem, any uh, mathematics topic. We have over 150 topics present presently at the, at the platform. Most, uh, most of them are on Facebook, I mean on YouTube. You can partner, you can just come there and learn and learn and learn. If you have any problem or a topic you are expected, to, I mean you are expected to be there and it's not there yet, just leave a comment below. We surely be attentive. to. Um, I will be working on equation and formula. Equation and formula. That's what I have for you as far as this video is concerned. Now, before we move on, I suppose to give you an outline. The outline must be, I have outline, let me go to write it. I have definition. Definition to equation. And um, change of formula, changing change of subject of formula. formula. Now that is two outline I have for you. This topic is a very important topic in mathematics, just like a foundation to mathematics. If you have a very, very good uptime of study number, you have to know what is called equation. You have to know what is called expression. You have to, want to, know, you have to know what is called um, inequality also. Like in real life, in a real sense, if x equals to 7, this is my equality, which is 7 can be equals to x. But when it becomes inequality, the story is very, very critical. My x is not equal to what? 7. It means it's not equal to 7. Three, four things can occur here. It can be great. It can be less. It can be greater than equals to. It can be, it can be less than equals to. That is what I mean there. Okay. I don't have much to say anyway. Let me quickly move on to what I have for you. Now, let me define equation. I've used try to explain what is equation. Now, equation is the, when you are having expression attached with equality, like three x, two x plus four equals to five. This is a very good equation. That is equation. That is equation. But if I have x plus four, this is expression. This is expression. Please don't forget this is expression. Now, can you see equation and expression? Expression means there is no attachment of equality sign, but equation there must be what equal to assignments. Now, if three is equal to okay, let me quickly give some example to go straight this point to, to, to explain this point. Now, I have some equation here. Oh, commonly. I have some equation to show you here. For instance, solve the following. Let me use the word following. Now, when we are dealing with equation, we we'll always use solve what? Find the value of um, find the value of and so on and so forth. These are the common words used when you are referring to equal equation. I have for x equals to 3x plus 5. I have another one. 4a minus 3 minus a equals to 17. I have another one. I have 2 equals to 5 bracket of 5 x minus 2 bracket of 9 bracket of 3x minus 2 now, I have the last one, which is going to be, um, I have another one here, which I have 
3x minus, open a big bracket of 3 bracket of 1 plus x. I, I, I close the bracket minus 2x equals to 10. Now, this we explain this one, these questions here will help us to know more about equation. Now, if I have this type of problem and I'm asked to solve them, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is number four. Now, I have these four questions to solve. All what I have, these are algebra, these are unknown numbers. I can represent it by putting x. No problem if I put x there. But if I don't want to put x, I can put another thing. It means something is missing. Now, and this make it an equal equation. It's an equation is an equation. If there is no this assignment there, this equal to sign, it means it's not an equation. Now, what I will just do here, I'll collect like times. Collect like times. That is very, very correct. Now, I have 4x minus 3x equals to 5. I subtract 3 from both sides. For those that are still a beginner, this one will give us x equals to 5. Now, x is truly equals to 5. Can we check? Can we test for that? Can we check that my x is 5? Now, that is where, what is my x? 5. 5 bracket of equals to 3 bracket of 5 plus this. 20 equals to 15 plus 5, which is 20 equals to 20. Can you see that? It's obey that condition that the side A is equals to side A equals to side B. If they are equal, no problem. But if they are not equal, <laughs> that is where the problem lies. If they are not equal, it means I will not move on to inequality, condition of inequality. But can you see the assignment? They are equal to themselves. Now, and anytime you solve any given equation, any form of equation, it can be quadratic equation, it can be um, simple equation or linear equation, learn to test for whatever you have. It will satisfy that condition. Now, this one I'm getting for, I'm working for towards A. Now, 4x minus times plus, have that. Now, when I have something like this, it means there is plus here. I can as well put plus 3, but there's no any problem if I not put plus 3. And minus times this, it will be plus A equals to 17. I have this also, which is going to be 3. Oh, sorry, it's going to be 5. I'm sorry for that. 5 equals to uh, 20. Sorry, this one, I've collected like times and my A equals to 4. My A, I've divided both sides by 5. I've divided both sides. If you put 4 here, it will be side A will also be equal. You can do that on your own and tell me, drop your comments after. Equals to this one, I will open brackets one by one. This bracket does not have power over this. Likewise, anything that is here does not have power over this. But this minus have power over this particular power. I have 25 minus 10 minus 27x plus 18. Now, if I have it this way, this will be, give me um, 10, 12. I have 12. I have 12 minus, let me just, 12 minus 18 equals to, this and this will give me 3. Yes, to literally be 3. 3. Yes. This, this and this, 25, it will be 2, sorry, it will be 2. I mean instead, 2. Now, this and this, yes, this and this, it will be minus 2. Now, this and this, I have 12 and I have 16, which is going to be minus 6, equals to minus 2. My x will be equals to 3. My x equals to 3. Put 3 here, it will satisfy the condition that side A is equals to side B. Now, the last part of this, I have 3x minus. Now, what I will just do, I will first open the inner bracket. This is, 
I will first open the inner bracket, which is, I still remain my big bracket. I have three, I have plus three X minus two X. Now, successfully, I've opened my inner bracket. Now, I have three X minus bracket of three, my bracket of three plus X minus plus three minus two. I have one equals to three. Now, what can I do next? I open the bracket with minus 3x minus 3 minus x equals to 3. This and this are friend 2x. This and this are friend, which is going to be um, 6. <laughs> this, yes, just on the other side. If I both side by 2, by 2, cancel. My x equals 2. What am I having? I have 3. I mean, I have 3. Now, put three here, it will be satisfy the condition. That is all about that. These are simple equations. These are simple equations. Now, before I do something on change of subject or formula, let me just put, give example on fraction form. When simple equation is in form of fraction form, and how, we, how can we solve it? How can we solve it? Now, for instance, okay, for instance, I have x all over 2 equals to x all over 3 plus 1 all over 2. And also, I have 1 all over 2a plus 1 all over 1 all over 4 equals to 1 all over 4a. Now, also, I have um, 3y minus 2 all over 9 equals to 4 number 7 all over 9. And the uh, last one, okay, I have 1 all over 5x minus 1 all over 7x equals to 7 all over 15. Now, the last part of it, we call it, um, let me just, I have two brackets of 5x minus 3 bracket all over 2 minus 3 bracket of 5x minus 2 but divided by 5 equals to 18 or 8 all over 15. Now, I have these simple questions. They are known as simple equation because we are talking about only one variable and the only difference between this and the one we have done before is this one is in fraction form. Let me use this type, this opportunity to explain what is fraction. Now, fraction is one out of O. Now, if I have a circle like this, now, one, two, this is one out of four. 1 out of 4. Now, 1 out of 4. It means, if once I cut, I will start generating fraction. And it involves denominator and numerator. It involves denominator and numerator. And also, we have this third type of fraction. We have a mixed fraction, improper fraction, and um, uh, mixed fraction, proper fraction, and uh, proper Fraction. Please understand that. All what we are having here, we don't know until we know what is in our x. Now, if I have type of something like this, if I'm the one, the LCM of this number is what is six. If I multiply all by six, just multiply all by six, I will surely have something. It means six times I'll be having three x equals to. 2x plus 3. Now, I'm no more on fraction now. I'm now on normal and simple form, which I will be having 3x minus 2 equals to 3, which I have x equals to 3. Can you see it's very easy for me to relate it here? What did I do? I find the LCM of these two numbers, and also the LCM of everything is 6. I multiply everything by 6, which I have my 
one side as three. Put three, put three. You will notice that side A equals to side side B. Now look at this. I have problem with this because this one is called mixed fraction. I can easily turn it to normal fraction. When I have something like this, it means you can as well write as a all over two plus four five all over four equals to a all over four. Now the LCM of this are okay. The LCM is four. Multiply everything by four, which I have uh, <coughs> multiplied all by four. Don't use both sides here. When you use both sides, it will be complicated because this is not, they are not, assuming you have it like this, and you have it like this, okay, you can use the word both sides. But this one, they are splitted, this addition operation clause has splitted it. Then, I cannot move on. What will I do? Multiply everything by four. It means four multiplied by A all over two plus four multiplied by five all over four equals to A Okay, 4 multiplied by A all over 4. This year, this year will be 2. Here will cancel, here will cancel. Now, I will have 2A plus 5 equals to A. Now, no more fraction again. It means I'll be having 2A minus A equals to minus 5, which is my A equals to minus 5. Now, put minus 5 here, you will notice that side A is equals to side B and so on and so forth okay you can do this by yourself you can do this by yourself the same thing with first and second now let me quickly explain the last part of it we now jump to uh change the of formula when i have this type of problem how do i solve it now this one is this 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 find the lcm also what is my lcm the lcm is 15 multiply all by 15 if i multiply all multiply Apply all by 15. Don't use both sides. When you use both sides, it will run to problem. It means I'm talking about 15 multiplied by 2 all over 3 bracket of x and also 3. Okay, 15 multiplied by 3 all over 5 bracket of 5x. Now, equals to 18 all over 5. Now, successfully, this cancel here will be 5. Here, here, that will be 3. And multiply by 15. This will cancel this. Now, since I have it, no more fraction, I have 10 bracket of 5x, 3. I have 9 bracket of 5x, 2 equals to 8. Now, there is no more fraction. At this point, at this junction, I can now easily approach what I want to approach, which there won't be any problem. Now, open your bracket, collect my times, and get your answer, which I'll be having 50x minus 30 minus, minus 45x plus 18 equals to 8. Equals to 8. I can do whatever I want to do, which I have no problem. This and this, it should probably be 5x. This and this, it will be 12. It will surely be 12. Now, I have minus 12, minus 8 equals to 0. Oh, I have 5x equals to, drop to, I need uh, 20. I have um, 20 to be 20. Oh, let me just, for those that are still in, equals to 20, equals to 0. 5x equals to 20. My x equals to 4. It means put 4 here, it will satisfy, it will be balanced. To be balanced. What, the meaning, what I'm trying to explain here is that it will be equal. When I have it this way, this is the application part of it. This is a load. Load. A. Load. B. Now, an equal. This is just, it means whatever I have, okay, if I have 3x plus 5, can be equals to, oh, let me not. 4 is equals to 4. That is what I mean. That is the real application.
substitution of it. Now, with this, you can understand the simple equation, especially the fraction part of it. Now, let's move on to change of subject or formula. Change of subject or formula. Okay. If I have change, I have some question here to play with. When I'm talking about change of subject formula, now if I have x equals to seven minus n, now the subject of formula at this point is what? This is the subject. 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 Now. I can change this s to n. It means at the point of having minus equals to s minus 7. Now, my s equals to 7 minus x. Now, what is the subject here? n becoming what? Subject. n is the subject. Now, it's a subject. I can turn 7 to subject. It means I can say 7 equals to x plus n. What is the subject here? Just 7. Subject is what is seven. Now it means subject can be changed anyhow, anyhow, anyhow it comes. Once the first one before my subject change to uh, m, what did I do? I collect. I mean, I take this away from that. Side. It means I subtracted um, seven from both sides. Now I subtracted seven from both sides. That is what I'm having here. And since I have it here. I'm looking for m. That is where mistake of I mean many students make it. If I'm looking for m, it's not the same thing as minus m. Minus m. These are not the same. Now m is just one m, but minus m it has been in a. Let me just quickly explain what is called zero. This is minus m. I'm talking about. This is the m. Now anytime you are has to make something a subject, you have to consider it must be only. And only the value. At this point, the story has changed because this is already a negative integer. Now the story has changed. Now, if I'm to make m the subject formula, not minus m. This I can't stop here. It means I multiply, I multiply both sides by what? By m. And also, I have this, I have this just to make my m the subject. I added m to both sides, which to be moved. And also, please take note of that when you are looking for a variable, not the same thing as minus of that variable. Keep taking note of that. Now, let me play around. There are some problems that will come in form of this root of x equals to t. Make x disturbed. The subject. I'm making the subject of formula. Now, I want to make S the subject of formula. And let me look around for those that are not standard for subjects of formula. Now, this is a form of root. The problem I have here is this root is my problem, and you must know how to handle it. It means I can rewrite X bracket of one over two because our indices have explained this we have done that in our indices if you have problem with this you can just check on our indices law now multiply both side by now multiply both multiply both power by two now, with like this, also the same statement of writing square roots both sides. This statement are the same; they are just the same thing. When I use the word square root, root of x, the same thing as what x one over two. Now, if I multiply both power, it means square the both side, square the both side. Now, this is square root square root this is called square root now when i have it this this is called square please take note of that this is a root and this is a square now the same thing 
Anyhow you want to do it, you are free free to use it any way you want to. It means with what I'm written, with what I wrote, I can say that x equals to t raised to power 2, which is I've squared the whole side. I've squared the whole side. This will cancel this. That's the meaning. Now my x equal be t squared all over 2. That is now my s is a subject, my s is now a what? A subject. Now let me quickly look out for some some simple simple question from our book. Okay. Now I have this is called key root of x all over a equals to b. I have to make um, make x the subject and also I have um, root of x plus a equals to b I am to make x the subject here. now and also let me generate another one that one x squared plus u squared equals to n. And to make n the subject here. And to make n the subject of formula here. Now, all this will really help us. Let me have another one. If I have 1 all over f plus 1 all over u, mm -hmm. equals to 1 all over v and to make u the subject of formula here. Now, look at this simple, simple for These are very simple questions which are four. This will really help us to understand what the meaning of what the subject is. Now, when I have just something like this, this is called root form. Now, but when I have it this way, 3 of what? x all over v. Now, this is called, I mean, this one is called root form. This one is called salt form. Please take note of that. Salt form and root form. It means my three multiplied by square root of three as well as x all over b root of what? One all over two. Why this? It means I will turn it to x all over a into bracket of one all over three equals to b. Now, I'm looking for x. S is already in bondage of that power. Now, how do I remove that power? I will multiply or keep root the both side or multiply both power by what? By 3. I can say keep um, keep the cube the both side or multiply both power by what? By 3. Now, anyone cube the both side. And I will go x all over a equals to b raised to power 3. Now, cross multiply my x equals to b cube and a. That is my subject. It means the story I've changed from b to what? To x. Now, also, the same thing as well as solution to this. I can have its root of x, x plus a bracket of 1 all over equals to b. This has become it's already in cage of these two a and x and in cage of roots. It means I must consider the two together. Now, I will square the both sides also. When I square the both sides, it means I multiply both power by 2. This will cancel. s a equals to b squared. x equals to b squared minus a. That's all. X equals to b squared minus a. Now, <clears throat> look at this. I want to make my head the subject. I was. I have to stand. I mean, I have to make a way that my x will stand on its own. It means by subtracting v from both sides, x squared equals to m minus v squared. So let's fully subtract third this from both sides. Now I will now square rule the both sides. Square. 
roots the both side it means my x equals to root of m minus v squared that is how it's always been make sure that that root cover both m and v if it cover only m it means or you, you introduce a bracket like this it's even good to introduce brackets which the same thing as what my m minus v squared or bracket of what one all over two the same thing that is all what we're trying to say now i want to make you the subject here now this is a form of fraction this is a mirror formula now i can say as i can do i, I can i'm working towards you 1 all over u equals to 1 all over v minus 1 all over v. Now, what I do there, I subtract this from both sides. Now, since I have that, I can answer that what? u equals to f minus u all over f u. I mean, v, this is v, sorry. This is v. Now, f v. When I have something like this, we call it inverse. I'm going to stress myself, just add it as inverse the both I mean, inverse the both side. It means my u will be equals to of v all over. That is all. That is all what I need to do. That is everything. It means my u equals to that. Okay. Before, before we this part i have some questions to play with that will really help us to explain that some typical there are some exam questions like four or five of them that i want to to work on the first one i'll be solving one by one t equals to <coughs> two pi root of a squared plus k squared divided by g h and making k the subject of one line. Now, this is a very simple one. What I will just need to do here, this is standing on its own. These are standing on their own. Now, it means I'm free to divide both sides by what? Divide both sides by 2 pi. C all over 2 pi equals to root of a squared plus k squared all over g h. That is first thing. Now, this is the square root. They are in cage of square root. I can square the both side. Square the both side. Is that you write it this way or you make it in an in expression form? It's mean over 2 all bracket of squared equals to h squared plus k squared all over g h. Now, with this statement, that's as cover up what I need to do. Now, the next thing I need to do is that I can multiply both sides by what? Multiply both sides by g h. Multiply this one by g h. Now, this will cancel this. It means my h squared plus k squared equals to g h c squared divided by 4 pi squared. Uh, now, I'm looking for k. Now, let my k stand on its own. It means I'll be having k equals to g c squared 4 pi squared minus h squared. Now, I'm looking for ordinary k, not k squared. The difference between k squared and ordinary k, which is k on its own. It's not minus k, just k. Now, to have this, I will square root both sides. Square root both sides. It means I'll be having k equals to root of g h c squared all over 2 4 pi squared minus h squared i must put in brackets or everything cover up 
That is mine. Now, can you see that? My king is standing on his own without any attachment. But by so doing that, no problem. I achieve what I want to achieve. Not K squared or minus K. If it is minus K, I'm doing rubbish. Now, but at this point, it's good to put plus or minus here anyway. It's very good to put plus or minus here because that is the logic behind quadratic equation. Anytime you solve quadratic equation, you always arrive at two possible values. Okay, that means this one can be any exam question. Becker, any transfer exam, anyway. anyway. Becker, why? Any exam, you. You tell me all this, all this exam. Okay, let me move on to another one. It can also be of help to us. Now, I have one here. I equals to e squared divided by r squared minus w squared l squared. I am to make my r the subject. I'm making r the subject. Now, I have this. I want to make r the subject. I don't need to stress myself. If I want to do it very well, I can just multiply both sides by what? Multiply both sides by root of r squared minus w squared l squared. I successfully multiply both sides by that. It means I'll be having i bracket of root of r squared equals to e squared. That is what I'm trying to do here. Now, since I have it, divide both sides by what? By i, by i. This. Now, we watch both sides and working towards, because of what? They are already in multiplication and bracket form. This one is an entity, this one is an entity, and this one is an entity. And what is attaching them together is multiplication. Once it's no more multiplication, is addition, you have to learn to not to use both sides. It must be a word all. Use a word all. Now, I'll be having root of r squared, w squared, x squared equals to e squared i. Now, I have to deliver this one out of bondage of roots. How do I deliver it? I will square both sides. Squared both sides. Now, since I square the both sides, I'll be having r squared, w squared, r squared equals to e4 <laughs> all over i squared. Because that squared means there will be a double of this there. Now, I'm looking for half. It means my r squared, it will be equals to e raised to the power 4 divided by i squared plus w l squared. Now, since I have it this way, successfully, I'm looking for r, not square of r. It means I will root the both side. When I root, square root the both side, both side, it means I'll be having root of equals to root of e raised to power 4 all over squared of this minus w squared now i can do a lot of things here this is different of this square but i don't need to if i want to elaborate i can elaborate but i don't need to elaborate it anyway just leave it like that at least as a beginner you have to understand all this okay let me give two or more example that can also be of help to us let me look for one formula that can be of help. A formula that um, we normally use for sum of GP. That is a very good formula that um, we have worked on formula of mirror. We normally use to generate sum of GP. X equals to, we call it S of sum, N all over 2, a big bracket of 2A plus bracket of A minus B onto bracket of D. Now, I'm to make n the subject. I want to make n the subject of formula. Now, this is a very good 
This formula, we, know, we all know is it. We all know, know, uh, knows it. It is called sum of GP, sum of arithmetic progression, which is called a series of arithmetic progression. Now, I have it this way. I have to make this and the subject of formula solution to this thing. Now, the first thing I will do, multiply both sides by what? Multiply both sides by 3. It means multiply both sides by 2. It means I'll be talking about 2x equals to a bracket of, is a big bracket anyway, big bracket of a bracket of n and d. Now, the next thing I will do, what can I do here? I will look forward by having this equals to n big bracket of 2a plus nd minus d. I've opened brackets here. Now, what can I do? Okay. Successfully, I will move on by having 2x, 2x equals to, now, this, this, this. What can I do to this? I divide both sides by what? By n, by n, which is cancel all by n equals to 2a plus n d minus d. Now, my focus is n. I'm running towards my n. It means I must try all my possible best. Think how this n will come out of bondage. Now, what can I do? I can drag this to this side. It means I'm subtracting n d to, from both sides. It means subtract n d from both sides. Now, 2x all over n minus n d equals to 2a minus d. 2a minus d. Now, what x, what can I do? Please, you have to be thinking. Because you have to think of way out of this problem. Okay. Look at this. What can I do? If I decide to make LCM, this one will increase by squared. Can I solve quantity? No. Okay. If I factor out, I can't factor out. Now, I will not think of what to do. Now, Okay, now what can I do? I can turn it to x minus n squared d equals to we have two. Okay, mm, I can say my n bracket of 2a minus d. Now, what did I do there? I've successfully multiplied all by what to avoid my fraction. Now, if I have it this way, what can I do? It means I'll be talking about n squared d plus n 2a minus d equals to 2x. Now, how? This is now a quadratic problem because I'm running towards my head. What can I do? To make my hand the subject. Now I will look around. Okay. If I decide to um, to add D and uh, ABC normal quadratic problem ABC, what can I do to add? And also the same number I will so I will multiply and I will get this. Now that is what I will be working towards. Mm -hmm. Since I have this way, I can continue by having n d plus n bracket of 2a minus d minus 2x equals to 0. Now, this is a normal quadratic problem. I can easily run to my formula method, which my n equals to minus b plus or minus root of 
b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, since I have it, I know that my a equals to d, my b equals to a minus d, and my c equals to minus 2x. Now, since I have that, I cannot continue by adding n equals to, what is my, I have minus bracket of 2a minus d, <clears throat> um, yes, plus or minus root of this a minus d squared, four bracket of everything you are having here. What is my a? d and minus 2x minus is here all divided by by 2 what is my a d now by so doing this i can easily make my n is something which is my n equals to minus 2a my plus d plus or minus root of Expand wherever you want to expand, and you go by having d squared plus 4 okay, plus 8 plus 8 dx plus 8 dx divided by 2d. Now, by so doing this, do whatever you want to do, and that will give you your answer you can simplify for that that is all about it now it leads us to quadratic formula because of what this power 2 power 1 and the next one will be power 0 it means n raised to power 0 it means the highest degree of what we are looking for is 2 and you must get 2 value for it plus or minus of this okay you can do it further from here and uh, there won't be any problem Another one. Okay, let me look for another formula and uh, we'll call it today. Look at this. I have h equals to m bracket of b squared minus u squared divided by 2gx. And I have another one. I have e equals to mb squared divided by 2 plus mhx and to make v the solid. Now, let's work on these two formulas and we will call it a day. Now, I have these two formulas to work on. Now, how do I get the solution? Solution that is solution. Now, my H, I'm looking for, oh, what am I looking for here? I think it's G, I mean, it's V. Both are V. I'm looking for V. I'm looking for V. I want to make V. Already H is the capital. E is capital here. G, I mean, G is on your, is the subject. Now, I want to make this subject for me. I need to speak much grammar. I cross multiply. When I multiply both sides, I'll be having h 2gx equals to m v squared u squared. Now divide both sides by m by m. I think we have explained all this right from the beginning. I don't need you don't have to waste much time anymore. All over m. Now the next thing I'm looking towards, I'm looking towards this. It means that V equals to 2HGX all over M plus U squared. Now, my M, I will square root the both sides of GH divided by M plus U squared all root. That is all. That is all. Now, why this? That is my subject. Already V is a subject here. This also, I can move on by having MV all over 2 equals to E minus MGH. Now, what am I doing here? I've subtracted both sides by this. 
because this is my target v is my target i will multiply both sides by 2 all over m 2 all over m this will cancel this, this will cancel this my v squared equals to e minus m g h it must be there must be in bracket i will have 2 all over m like this now I will just square the both side, my V equals to root of 2RM bracket of E minus MGH. Now, that is my answer. That is my answer. I'm just showing you the fast way of writing, of getting this type of thing when you are writing any exam. I will be ending my class here. Once again, don't forget to share our video and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Further Solutions Academy. Share to your friend and also subscribe to it. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thanks for watching.